This plastic box is magic. This box is the Magic Binocular Telescope from Analog Sky, and the actual product is called Magic, although I suppose it does do some magical things as well. Now you might notice this is a plastic binocular, and in fact the entire thing is 3D printed, except for the screws and nuts and things like that, and of course the lenses and the mirrors that are inside of here. Uh, and you can actually buy this as a full kit that you put together at your home, or you can just buy the STL files, which you can download and then print on your own 3D printer, or have someone else 3D print the parts for you. And now this plastic design has some advantages and some disadvantages. The main disadvantage is, is that it is plastic, and so it's not going to be as sturdy as a machined aluminum type binocular. It's not nitrogen purged and things like that. But because it is plastic, it is actually still relatively durable, and because it's 3D printed, if you break a part, you can certainly just reprint that part that broke, or even modify it and change it however you want. So for the most part, it is actually sturdier than it looks. And again, because all the parts are 3D printed and you have the files, you can make any additional new parts that you might need and make a lot of modifications along the way. And so that's kind of one of the magical things about this is that if you are a tinkerer, this can be a great project to work on just because you can modify it any way that you want. Now the top two advantages I think with this binocular is that it allows you to use two inch eyepieces. And in fact, I love using these 32 millimeter 70 degree field of view eyepieces with this setup. In fact, actually, you have to kind of figure out which end you're supposed to look through with this kind of setup. But it does provide a 10 degree field of view with these 32 millimeter 70 degree eyepieces. So really spectacular views. And the other advantage is that you get to look down through the binocular when it's mounted on a tripod instead of straining and looking upwards like you do with a regular pair of traditional binoculars. Now, if you do the math, you might think that you can't actually get all the light into your eyes if you're using this type of setup with a low power eyepiece and a 50 millimeter short focal length binocular. And that's true, but it doesn't really matter because the whole point is that you can use any eyepieces that you want. So you can use a low power eyepiece like these 32 millimeter eyepieces. It might give you the equivalent of a 35 or 40 millimeter binocular instead of a 50, but that still provides a really great view. And then if you drop down to a 20 millimeter eyepiece, you're fine, you're getting all the light into your eye without any problem at all. So it's really very flexible. And I use eyepieces from five millimeters up to 32 with Magic, and, it, and they all work really well. I actually took this set up to Hawaii earlier this summer, and with the 32 millimeter eyepieces in that 10 degree field of view, the views of the southern sky from there were really spectacular. And so uh, if you do have a chance to go to a dark sky, having a pair of binoculars like this that can go to a low power, give you that wide field of view, can, it can really provide you a view that is something that you don't normally get to see. Now, if you've used Bina Viewers before, which I do highly recommend, by the way, one thing you might think about is that it's really hard to get a comfortable view through higher powered eyepieces that are shorter focal length like a five millimeter eyepiece because it's hard to merge the views and the small exit pupil of those eyepieces just make them hard to use in general. And that's still true with the small exit pupil trying to get them lined up with your eyes. It is a little bit more fiddly, but the magic does allow you to collimate the two eyepieces. And so you can get everything to merge very easily with these two knobs on the bottom. So, you know, if you're seeing a double image, just a slight tweak can bring everything back into alignment very, very easily. And that's something that I think is super valuable because no matter how your eyes are set up, if you're a little bit cross-eyed or fish-eyed or whatever, uh, you're going to be able to still adjust everything to get a comfortable view, uh, at least through a pretty wide range of possible, you know, eye setups that you might have. And it's very easy to adjust the distance between the eyepieces with this lever. And so for the most part, pretty much anybody can use these pretty comfortably. Each eyepiece does focus individually here with this helical fo focuser on each eyepiece. And so again, you can adjust every eyepiece by itself, get everything merged properly, and it makes it really easy to use. There's also two included finders. You have a flip out finder, which allows you to just sight through it and find what you're looking for. It also has an included laser finder that you just push the button and it shoots the green laser in the direction that the binocular is pointed, which makes it very, very easy to find things and also helps other people if you're in a group 
know what you're looking at a lot easier too. Now another great feature is that Magic does have filter drawers on both sides for each eyepiece and so you can slide filters in here very easily with a quick little snap of a cartridge and that allows you to easily switch back and forth between filtered and non-filtered views which can make it sometimes easier to kind of blink back and forth when you're trying to find a dim object but it makes it very easy because you don't have to switch the filter to each eyepiece when you're changing eyepieces you just change the eyepiece and the filter stays in there and when you're done with the filter you just slide it out. Now if you do prefer a higher powered or brighter view at higher magnifications Analog Sky does offer the 80 millimeter heart binocular telescope as well and that will give you an easier higher power view of objects and it will also bring in a lot more light at a given magnification. Now Magic isn't for everybody obviously you can buy a small telescope that's going to work really well for the same amount of price and obviously it's all plastic it's not machined metal and so it doesn't have the same sort of visual quality that you know other telescopes are going to have but it does allow you to replace parts very easily you can modify it very easily and it's a very small compact device you can easily put in a backpack and take with you and if you like to tinker or you like or you know somebody who likes to put things together or likes to tinker this might be a great project for them if they do have an interest in the night sky so uh, you know again it is a binocular it isn't going to give you high powered views of the planets you can I use it basically between 7 and 45x with the eyepieces that I use so you know you're not going to get those high powered views of Jupiter but you can still get enough magnification to make out some details but you know looking at the moon looking at a lot of large deep sky objects it can be a really helpful tool for those and it is incredibly light this thing only weighs a couple pounds you can use it on a very lightweight tripod I use the Orion TriTech which is really lightweight my whole setup is well under 10 pounds so it's very easy to take outside and set up very quickly and take with you anywhere that you're traveling to to uh, to get those night sky views and if you're wondering if it's hard to put magic together well it really isn't there's a few spots that are a little bit tricky but for the most part everything is pretty easy because they give you very detailed videos on their site showing you step by step how to put everything together and so it's really a pretty straightforward process you could spend a week you know a little bit of time every evening or so and get it put together if you tried you could just do it all in a weekend you can't do it in one day because you do have to use silicone to adhere the mirrors to the mirror mounts and things like that and that just requires drying overnight so you can't speed up that process but you could easily do it in a weekend if you really wanted to and just spent several hours on a couple consecutive days so overall it's a fun project you get nice views the lenses that come with the magic kit are achromatic lenses so you're not going to have really sharp views that you would have with a set of ed lenses uh, there is going to be some false color that you're going to notice at higher powers especially but again this is a whole modular design you're putting it together yourself if you want to go out there and find some 50 millimeter ed lenses well you could put them in there if you wanted to and they do also offer sunny and ember which are similar 50 millimeter binocular telescopes uh, Sunny is designed exclusively for solar viewing however I did make my own solar filter that fits on here just using some Bader filter film and just some foam core board that I cut to fit around the front opening of Magic uh, but Sunny is better designed for full-time solar observing and Ember also is a lot easier to put filters on just because of the shape of it but anyway Magic is a lot of fun to use I really enjoy the views through here just the lightweight nature of it it's great for those quick grab and go sessions if you want to look at a comet or check out the moon or you know some large deep sky objects it can be a great tool for that and obviously if you like building things you like to tinker this is a lot of fun but anyway that's all for now and thanks for watching bye